Hey, what's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in. On uh, today's video, we're gonna be trying something out and that is Seafoam High Mileage. We wanna see how this works on my 2010 amazing Subaru Forester. Uh, the reason I'm gonna try this out today is at low speeds, low acceleration, it's been sputtering, my engine has, and I've got like 125,000 miles on this car. And honestly, taking it to the mechanic for something like that might cost more than this car is worth. So what we're gonna try to do, one thing I read online is put in some seafoam uh, to clean out a lot of the gunk uh, in your injectors and in your lines. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to use this really quick. I'm gonna drive my car around the recommended mileage and uh, I'll come back and see if it made any difference, all right? Okay, so we look here, it says just pour seafoam high, 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 my, sea foam high mileage in your fuel tank. They basically say, I think for normal stuff, um, here we go, for regular fuel system, add one ounce per gallon when a greater cleaning concentration is needed, use two or more ounces per gallon. So what I'm gonna do is just dump this whole thing in here. I've never cleaned the injectors or anything like that. Um, what it says is when your check engine light comes on or you've got about a really low gas tank, Put the seafoam in your tank, do not fill it up, and then drive around for about 20 miles, okay? What that's going to do is let the seafoam run its course in your engine and not have it mix with any gas, all right? So we're gonna, we're gonna pull this top off here. All right, you smell this stuff, it's potent. So hopefully it does, some, does the work we need here, all right? Let's check this out. Oh man, I burned my nose. All right, so what, you're gonna, what we're gonna do is just dump it in our gas tank, all right? And just shove that in there, all right? You can hear it glugging. There you go, it's going in. All right, your gas tank's gonna accept that, all right? Give it a sec, dump in a little bit that's left. All right, put your gas cap back on. And yeah, I'm gonna drive this car around and see if this makes a difference in that 20 miles and I'll get back and report an update to everybody. All right, everyone, I drove the Forester around for probably 20 plus miles, 25, 30 miles. I'm almost out of gas, it's time to fill it up. So what I'm gonna do right now is hop in the vehicle, start it up, pull away from my house at that low speed and see what we hear. And I'll let you know what I think about seafoam after all that, okay? All right, I got it in drive. I'm just gonna pull uh, pull away from the curb as soon as this car passes me. Let me see what we got here. All right. Again, like I said, the sputtering is occurring at low speed accelerations. All right, I'm not hearing a thing. Uh, and I'm not just saying that for this video. If I thought Seafoam didn't help out or didn't work, I would definitely be saying that. They're not paying me for this and I get no money from them. All right, so let me just turn this corner here, see if we hear anything else. Sounds good. So let me get to a safe point to stop and give you a quick recap. All right, I'm waiting for my car to fill up here at the gas station, uh, driving this thing around since I put in that uh, Seafoam and there's been no sputtering, all right? So I'm no mechanic. I just followed some of the advice I read on the internet and kind of put like some, some logic behind this. The easiest process was using seafoam to see if like my injectors or anything in that fuel line uh, system was clogged or dirty, right? Honestly, with a car with 125,000 miles, I'm gonna take the easiest route first and go from there, okay? Uh, what I'm doing now is filling it up with gas from Wawa, which I've been using for quite a while and they recently got popped for having really dirty gas. So if this problem comes back after seafoam fixing it, well, I'm gonna have my gas examined because I'm gonna start thinking that might be the problem. Anyway, I'm talking too much. Everyone on YouTube thinks I yammer too much on and gets all upset and drops that in the comments that I talk too much and don't get to the point. So I did all my talking at the end after getting to the point. Seafoam works in high mileage vehicles. If you're having sputtering in your engine, try that first, save some money, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll keep talking. Thanks for watching. Catch you all later.